Tony Poulos here at MWC 19 in Barcelona. And with me today is Dirk Trossen, Senior Principal Engineer at InterDigital. Dirk, welcome. Thank you. Tell me, what is InterDigital doing at this event? We are showcasing a number of innovation areas that we're active in as a company, and um, mainly in the areas of uh, video, IoT, and obviously 5G for the MWC. Who are your customers and who are you appealing to with these product sets? We work with a number of collaboration partners. We work uh, very actively in standards, in the various standards, in particular in video, in all of the three areas, really. Uh, we work with vendors directly through these standards. Uh, we work in collaborative projects, even, in, in, in Europe, where we directly work across the value chain from, uh, again, vendors, operators. Uh, we work in smart city environments uh, to develop the technology that we can then bring uh, again to the standard bodies. So the, it's a technology based company but do you sell the technology to other companies to enhance on or do you provide services to other technology or to other companies? Um, depending on the area, in Corden for instance as an example in the IoT space, Corden is a, uh, the, the company we recently spun out in the IoT space which was based on our technology work in the 1M to M standard space. So we developed uh, uh, the, the, the key sets of standards in the IoT space for 1M to M and then built up a, uh, in a collaborative project in, uh, in the UK, uh, a marketplace for IoT, which is now spun out as a company. So in this case, you know, it really came from ideation over standardization to a spin out. Uh, in other areas in 5G, as I said, we, we go towards working, uh, developing IP blocks and standardization that we can either work, again, directly with vendors or independently, and then the standards are adopted. You recently acquired, if I remember rightly, uh, Technicolor's uh, patent uh, package, so all patents. Uh, what are you doing with those and, and what's the objective behind the acquisition? Um, it's very similar as in the 5G space. It enhances the 5G uh, uh, portfolio that we already have and, right. uh, and therefore strengthens the, uh, uh, the angle of bringing mobile technology, which is not only wireless technology, but obviously also video technology, yeah. uh, to our customers. Um, we also enhance, obviously, we, we were already and are still active in the video space directly. We have uh, demonstrations here at MWC in, in, in video, in interactive video, which combines vi the video and the wireless space uh, in a set of uh, solutions. And how different will 5G environments be to what we're used to up to the 4G world, et cetera? It depends on really what you're looking for. I mean, obviously, as there's the faster, the low latency that everybody's emphasizing, that's quite clear. There's higher flexibility, which is some of the things we are showcasing also at this MWC in, in terms of capturing new use cases, capturing new verticals, which before, uh, uh, beyond consumers, weren't really captured in, in 3G and 4G. Right, and who are your big customers that come to you and you know, grasp onto this technology? Um, we have license agreement with a number of uh, um, as a big OEMs, uh, um, big manufacturers um, with Huawei, um, with Apple, with LG. Uh, we have a joint venture with Sony wow. um, that we uh, uh, also recently renewed in January. So they, again, a, a number of people who are interested in, in, in the type of technologies we're developing and we try to utilize our R&D capability to do so. So you're a bit about the, the, the quiet provider in the background with some of these big companies. Yeah, I mean, sourcing of technologies is, is as old as you know, the industry is, really. I mean, uh, not everything is uh, developed in-house and we, we provide very valuable technology that can be used uh, across all of these you know, uh, different areas. Uh, and obviously, there are always customers for it that really need the technology. And how have you found this show this year? It seems to be a lot of people here. There are a lot of people here. It's good. Uh, it, it's probably this time more grounded. I mean, I was uh, here with uh, an early demonstration four years ago where obviously there was a lot, much more hype around certain areas like virtual reality, augmented reality. This year, it, it is 5G is here. It's almost here. So people want to see really what's around the corner. Um, we talk already uh, uh, about beyond 5G. So to see what's really coming up in a couple of years time to really keep the industry going. We're good at that, aren't we? We're already thinking way ahead of the ballpark. That's what technology is all about, right? <laughs> you, you, you have to think, you know, what, what hasn't been done. 5G, you have to remember 5G is only in the early release. Yeah. And what, what you see now is a release 15, which was uh, uh, dropped last year in June. Um, the next release is coming by the end of the year. So it's a, it's a continuous cycle. Just because, you know, 5G is here is the slogan at the moment doesn't mean the, the innovation is going to stop, it's going to continue for sure. It will all keep us in a job, hopefully, so <laughs> let's, let's look at it in that particular way. Dirk, thank you very much for being with me today. Thank you very much for the interview, thanks.